What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Scott, about Nature TV. And we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV-based. What's the business, you guys? What's going on on this beautiful Saturday? What's going on, you guys? Like I said, it's so cold in the D. How the hell are we supposed to get peace? That's all I got to say about that. But you know... We're just in the building. We're in the building. We're here to do a job, okay? Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up. Now, as you guys already know, I do live reviews on the SWP and Escape show, The Queens of R&B. You guys already know this. Now, like I said, I am out of town right now, but at least by Sunday, I would know if I'll be doing them live or not, okay? So be on the lookout. Um, If I do do them live, you will know because the link would be available, honey. You guys already know that. And also on Tuesday, be on the lookout for Roast and Review SWV um queens of r&b with myself terrence and jojo now jojo will not be a part of the panel this week because he has some personal issues going on right now and you know um it's it's it's, it's physical and mental um health right now so he has to take care of himself and as i told him he's a friend before he's a co-host and a business partner and content creator and every damn thing else. I'm more so focused on him getting better and being his best self. So he'll be taking a break from everything for a few months. He's not on social media. Um, he won't be um, participating in any panels for the time being, and he won't be posting on his own platform until he gets his stuff together. But I will be seeing him at the Boss Babe Awards and um, all of that good stuff. I will be checking in on him as as we always do. We check in on each other every single day. So um, you know, we we just keep Josiah in your prayers because he will be back and better than ever. So special shout out to my bestie Josiah. All right. Now, with that being said, you guys, we're about to go ahead and get into the tea. Now, as you guys already know, I've been saying this for the last couple of days. Y'all know I've been giving y'all all of the escape updates, all types of escape, you know drama every damn thing else but in the midst of all the escape drama so to speak um the girl that claimed that she was the mistress of rocky bivens decided to come out and speak out because she didn't appreciate latasha or anybody else speaking about her and her unborn baby in interviews and stuff like that now this now she went live on instagram and gossip of the city was the one who picked up this live. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to the live and then we're gonna come back with some commentary, okay? So let's get into it, you guys. Let's listen. Because I have been sitting here trying to keep it cool, but I don't need Tasha doing no interviews on my baby. I don't need Tasha doing no interviews on my baby. Y'all wanna interview on my baby? You can't take me. The only people that can give you interviews on my child and my situation is the two people that was involved. Well, guess what? Other people know about it too. So I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say two people, but, but the only people that could give you information is me and him. And y'all know he ain't about to give it. He ain't about to give it. He already showed what the fuck he is. He already showed me who the fuck he is. He ain't about to be or whatever y'all looking at or whatever y'all going off of. But that ain't his reality. That ain't his reality. How the fuck you gonna do a damn reality show and aim at your fucking reality? Because I have been sitting here trying to keep it cool, but I don't know all these years. So you know what it is. There's no way you could be with somebody all these years and you're not with them 24 seven. And, you know, you've been hearing shit about the man. I didn't even know he was wilding like that. That's why I left. If y'all want to know. If I still wanted to be with him, I could still be with him. I left because I saw that he was out here wilding. You ain't about to disrespect me. You ain't about to do that to me. So I'm like, I, I'm not, you ain't about to play with me like this. Fuck no. So I dip. Because I don't play that shit. So that's when people was talking about home wrecking and all of this. No, I was under the impression that I was it. And he was getting out of that. But if I know that he out here doing this and that and just wilding, you can miss me with that bullshit. I'm not with that shit. You're not about to have me out here looking stupid. All these years. So you know what it is. Period. You're not about to do that to me and disrespect me. The only reason I got up on here it's because she went to the radio station and asked about my child and her demeanor with it. Her, the way she 
the way she said what she said. That's a trigger. For, you wasn't even, you don't know what the fuck. I'm still healing. That's that's like you don't you don't speak on you don't you don't speak on my child. And then for you, you know, your question is, you know, I mean, the question was, is that outside baby? And you're like, no, that's no outside baby and stuff. Forget my situation. Let's not talk about my baby. Why he not taking paternity tests for these other babies that's out here? Why? Because a person who know that they ain't their child, they taking that shit so you can shut the fuck up and get the fuck out of my face and keep it moving. When you know, when you know there's absolutely no chance because you being a good husband, period, you're not about to do that to me and disrespect me. The only reason I got up on here is because she went to the radio station and asked about my child. And you ain't out here fucking with nobody. And you ain't out here fucking raw. You're going to be like, man, come on. We're going we gonna to take this so you can leave me the fuck alone. You're going to do that. But you haven't did that. You haven't did that. See, I don't know. I don't know what's been told to you. I don't know what all he told you. He must have coached you for this interview or whatever. So all I'm saying is, it's a lot but if you want to know i could tell you i could tell you the real because what you're not gonna do rocky is you're not about to threaten me i'm not fucking scared of you i ain't fucking scared of you i'm not scared of you and you ain't out here fucking with nobody and you ain't out here fucking wrong you're gonna be like man come on we're gonna, we gonna take this so you can leave me the fuck alone you're gonna do that but you Alrighty then, so that is the alleged mistress of Rocky Bivens, who originally came out back in November or December of 2022, claiming to be the mistress of Rocky Bivens and that she was pregnant with his child. But then she later came back around and said that her page was hacked and that it really wasn't her, only for her to turn around and say, well, there really was me and Rocky told me to pretend like it wasn't. First things first, y'all know that I've been covering this escape stuff and I have been saying some things that aren't necessarily in Latasha's favor for, for like I said, for very good reason because I'm only pointing out the inconsistencies and the holes of every story that she tells. So it's not a personal thing. I'm just putting out the truth. Second of all, I cannot sympathize with this lady mainly due to the fact that she was the one who came out and made it out like she came out as a mistress, then turned around and said that it wasn't true and that she was being hacked and it wasn't her and all this other crazy stuff. But then she turns around and said, yeah, it was me, but he need to take care of his child. And he the reason why, you know, uh, what, what, what she say? He the reason why I did it. He told me to go back around and say that I was that I was hacked and that it's not me and that I don't even know him and all this other stuff. So, yeah. You made yourself look crazy. And even you going live talking about it, you made yourself look like a complete idiot in, in such a in such a sense. Because what are you actually defending? Latasha really didn't say anything about you or your child. What she said was when she was asked about the situation at hand, all she said was there is no outside child. That's all she said. She didn't say nothing about you. She don't know you. She didn't say nothing about your child. She just denied that Rocky had an outside child. Now, I guess that's what you're upset about because she said there is no outside child because honestly, girl, she didn't say nothing, absolutely nothing about you or your child. She didn't say nothing out of the way about you or your child. She just simply stated the facts. Well, in her mind, the facts, there is no outside child. We ain't got no outside child. So what are you talking about? That's all she said. This is really all she said. So one thing I will say about him threatening you, I definitely believe that he did threaten you. I mean, he's the reason why um, Latasha fell out with the promoter for escape because he made a threat to him and the, and the promoter made a threat back to him. Um, he... You know, Tamika Scott also felt threatened and bullied by him recently, as she stated in one of her YouTube videos. So if he is so you making a claim that he threatened and bullied you, then that part I can't necessarily believe. But you talking about I dip because he was really out here wilding out and you're not going to be disrespecting me. Girl, in my opinion, I feel like this. You disrespecting yourself by making yourself available to a married man. And then you talking about he out here wilding out. He wilding out by being with you and he a married man, girl. What are you talking about? Then you saying, how the, how the hell you on reality TV and that ain't even your reality? Sounds to me like you felt like 
because he's on a reality show. You should have been on the show to expose him for being who he for who you say he is. And that's a that's a married man messing around with a with another woman. That's what you wanted him to get up there and do right. That's what it sounds like to me. You know what I mean? So you say he's not showing his reality. Well, what's really his reality? Are you a part of his reality? But the show was really about SWV and Escape. I know that Rocky Bibbins want to be a fifth member of Escape so damn bad, but it'll never happen. So of course they're not going to focus on that because Latasha's paying you does. And then Rocky is definitely paying you does. So it's kind of like they're not, they're going to pretend like you don't exist. So, and secondly, are you even pregnant? Did you have a baby? Like, like what's going on here? Now, there's a lot of questions on whether or not you were really messing around with Rocky or not. There's some people that probably feel like that girl lying. Then there's some people that's out there that may feel like this. Oh, I don't think she lying. I don't really think that you necessarily, because you made yourself not credible by coming back saying that you was hacked and it wasn't you. Then you come back around and say that it was you and that Rocky made you do it. Now, it could go two ways. A, you lied about the whole damn thing and you was never messing around with that man. Or two, it could go like this. He, you really are his mistress. And when you put him on blast for that, he really did come and make some type of idle threats to you and um, basically stated that you need to shut the fuck up and pretend like it's not you. It can go, it can go both of those ways. Or three, you're delusional. Because if you really believe if because Latasha really, uh, and, and this is coming from me, a person that's been giving her the business for the last couple of weeks, she really didn't say anything about your kid. She was asked about the kid. She was asked that the kid exists, and she said that it did not exist. That's all she said. She didn't go into details. She didn't go in talking about that lying bitch, and, and she ain't fucking my husband, and my husband don't even know her. She didn't say nothing like that. They asked her a question about you, but well, not really about you. They said, Latasha, is there an outside kid? She said, there is no outside kid. That's all she said. And even though her husband is a slime ball looking like, hey, it's Franklin. Yes, he is that. But at the same time, she's only going to go by the word of her lying ass, guilty ass, thirsty ass, trifling ass, bullying ass husband. That's what she's going to go by. So if her husband tells her, you know, if her turtle looking husband tells her, well, I don't have a mistress. This girl lying. I ain't never fucked her. We ain't got no kid together. She going to believe her Hayes Franklin looking ass husband. That's what she's going to do. So I can't really be mad at her for believing him, even though she looks like a pie faced fool right about now, believing anything that he's saying or listening to anything that he's saying, because it's pretty clear that he wears the pants in a relationship. I mean, he is the man of the, of the house or whatever. Of course, he's going to wear the pants. But I mean, he's wearing every damn thing else, too, from the hard hat to the hammer to every damn thing else. Like he really running shit and telling her what she need to do with her career and really coming in between the shit that she already got going on. But that's a whole other story because this ain't even about that. All I'm saying is you done brought your silly ass up here with color contacts in your in your eyes, sitting up here talking about um, you feel disrespected and that Latasha should never be mentioning your kid. She didn't say nothing about your child. She didn't even mention your damn child. Does a child even exist? That's what I'm trying to figure out because you made yourself not credible. Like you made yourself not credible. Yeah, you posted the receipts of him texting you. Yeah, you posted the receipts of him with the cash app sending you money. You did do that. But you made yourself not credible and unbelievable when you first came out and said, yeah, I'm his mistress. I'm pregnant by him. I was fucking him. Uh, and Latasha don't know, but now she know. And I need to tell my story, child. I need to tell my story. You said it to every blog in the world. But then after the, after the kitchen got too damn hot, after the pressure cooker got too hot for you, you decided to say, Oh no, I was hacked. I don't even know that man like that. I'm sorry, Natasha. I don't even know your husband like that. Then a couple of days later, you say, I do know her husband like that. Yeah, I was riding that dick like a motorbike and I got pregnant by him. And he is the reason why I said I was hacked because he threatened me. Girl, which one is it? Do you know him? Did you screw him? Did you get pregnant by him? Did he give you that glue and get you pregnant? What, what happened? That's what we're trying to understand here. So you make yourself not credible. You make everything that you're saying valid. So it's like, 
we see this all the time. We see women come out all the time and, and claim that they didn't slept with somebody's husband. And I mean, Rocky ain't nobody to be lying on. I mean, why would you want to sleep with him? Like, I mean, why would you want to sleep with Rocky? I mean, he looks like fucking Hey Arnold. Not Hey Arnold. He looks like fucking Hey is Franklin. That's who he looks like. And you mean to tell me that you're going crazy over that? I don't understand. I don't understand, but it is what it is. But for you to go live all because she said, no, there's no outside children. Don't be speaking on my baby. Don't be speaking. What baby? Are you really pregnant? I ain't seen that one photo of you with a with, with a with a pregnancy belly. I ain't seen that one. Now, now if it's not if she really pregnant, please co please correct me in the comments. Please correct me. But are you really pregnant? Are you really pregnant? And what's really going on here? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And did you get hacked or not? And was Rocky really the one who told you to lie? But I don't know. I don't know. And you feel very entitled because you're talking about that ain't your damn reality. You're on a reality show and you ain't even showing your reality. I guess he got to show you in order for it to be true. Okay, girl, I guess. Um, talking about some disrespect you, you disrespected yourself when you laid up with a married man and had a, and, uh, had a so-called child by him and only, and then you disrespected yourself by outing yourself as a side chick, trying to get attention from his wife. That's crazy. But all I got to say is this, you should have taken us out the group chat because we really don't give a fuck who you give your hot pocket to. We really don't care. So, I mean, I don't know why you women some of you women want to come out and I always let everybody know that I spread in my hot pocket wide open form and we really don't care. So I don't know why y'all be trying to tell us this shit. We don't give a damn about your sexual activities. I swear we don't. Um, but as far as Rocky is concerned, all we want to know is where's Tamika's money. That's all we want to know. Where's Tamika's money? Where do, like all these Gucci outfits and shit that Latasha been wearing on, on, on her promo run to support that damn demon seed ass gospel record that she's trying to put out. Did you buy all that shit with Tamika's money? That's the question, because we don't give a damn if this your mistress or not, and we don't give a damn if she prayed about you or not. We just want to know where Tamika's money is. Hashtag, where's Tamika's money? But anyway, uh, with that being said, uh, make sure y'all you guys say what you got to say in the comment section. Please do, because I'm dying to see what y'all got to say. With that being said, you guys, this is your boy Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, click on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, Instagram, and my TikTok will be down in the description box below, okay? So, being that this will be a premiere video, if you are in the live chat, just go ahead and leave nothing but blue hearts in the chat in memory of Danita Rashawn. With that being said, you guys, we are out of here. Until the next one, I will see you guys a little bit later. Bye. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B, it's got a little bit of pop, it's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out, all streaming platforms, like I said. Please check me out and you can also follow me at I am underscore Tramel. That's I am underscore T-R-A-M-E-L. Check me out, I hope to hear from you.